Okay, Shalom. This is Brother Shemai Basar. This is dry, this is riding. You know what I'm saying? While chopping it up. This is riding talking at the same time. Riding, this is I am the name of this it's off with the spirit. You know what I'm saying? We're going on the spirit with this, you know. And I got some guests on the car. You know what I'm saying? This is just about how shit done changed, man. You know, everything done changed, man. The brother was bringing out earlier, you know what I'm saying, about like how they're trying to influence the people with their vibrations. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the wicked ones that's ruling right now. You know what I'm saying? They're in that satanic chair with, with Satan. You know what I'm saying? By the vibrations with this gay and lesbian agenda. You know what I'm saying? All different types of aspects. You know what I'm saying? That we... <clears throat> That we don't take notice of And it's right in front of our very faces So I always say this And this is my favorite quote How does Good prevail Well good can only prevail when Good men do nothing about it Okay That's how trumpet, That's how evil trumpets When good men do nothing about it You know they just sit there You know seeing twiggly thumbs Meanwhile while well, Evil energy is going out so the men that's out here on this highway and byway, the men that's out here that's fighting, we fighting to, 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 to denounce the mechanisms of the devil. When we put up videos, when we go out on the highway and byway and say, this ain't right, man, because nobody else is standing up. Everybody else is shaking their head. They down for whatever. And that goes with the scripture saying a, a, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Because this, And the reason why we say that is because this guy, he, he'll one day you'll sit here and talk with him. And he'll be like, oh, I'm against that. The next thing you know, he he changes. He changes because majority is 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 following that. You know? That's why we don't have no real leaders. You know? And that's why we tell a woman, man, they gotta, even with the women, man, you gotta teach these young women how to be women, because they don't even know how to wipe their ass properly. You know what I'm saying? And their mothers don't um teach them that. They teach them how to twerk. You know what I'm saying? They teach them how to be whores. You know what I'm saying? All that crazy stuff that's against the book, you know what I'm saying, against the laws and the testimonies. And that's Isaiah 8 and 20. It says to the laws and the testimonies, when they speak not, according to this, there's no light in them. That light is talking about the truth. There ain't no truth down here on this earth. That's why on Job, um, Job 9.24, it says the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges they're off. If not, who and where is he? Just paraphrasing because I'm driving. Okay. So if you know that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, that means it's an evil vibration that's being spread. Okay? And then you got evil goons and, and goblins, you know what I'm saying, that's out here um, that's selling their soul, misleading the people. So you got a few men that's out here and they're they posting up things and say, yo, this ain't the right way, man. This is wrong. And who's strong enough to stand up? Who's strong enough to endure to the times of the end? Because it says in um, it says in Revelation three and ten, it says um, what is this? It says Revelation three and ten. The hour of temptation, the hour of temptation means that every man is gonna be tried, tried, okay. Every man is gonna be tried, and in that day, is that man gonna really stand strong? That's why you gotta pray, you gotta pray, because you see a lot of knuckleheads, a lot of guys say, oh, what they'll never do. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm not going to do that. I won't take the check. You know what I'm saying? I won't bow down to these um, to these devils. I'm a warrior. And then he'd be the first guy that's on the line. Let a nigga, let a brother ask it real hungry. You know what I'm saying? They say after the first day, a brother be like, oh, I could do it. After a week, he start going crazy. He start looking at you like you a big piece of chicken. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we got to do, man. And we got to stay focused on this. You know, you got to teach your kids that you got enemies. Our kids don't even know. Our kids is walking around here with their pants hanging off their butts, um, not knowing who they enemy. Okay? Trying to embrace everybody. You know what I'm saying? All the heathens. Don't you know the heathens come over here and they make money off of you? Because they know that the black community is the number one community that spend their money on FUBU clothes. FUBU's old, so you can tell that I'm getting up there. <laughs> not FUBU, but... You know, um, they spend billions of billions. Black people community spends billions of billions of um, name brand clothes. 
You know what I'm saying? Name brand clothes. And guess what? They take it and they give back to if you, if you're a heathen, you'll take that money that you're getting off your of, of our community, of our people, and send it back to their home to keep their home going. Meanwhile, your home is is is, is in poverty. Your home is 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 is, is, is pissy ele, pissy um elevators and staircases. Okay. If you go on my channel, you see how uh, Mississippi, Mississippi, uh, Mississippi poverty. How the people living out there in poverty in Mississippi, and you and you suckers got a nerve to complain about how you going having it hard. Go to Mississippi. Go to my YouTube or just look up Mississippi poverty and see how Mississippi the, the brothers in Mississippi is living now. You know what I'm saying? They don't have nothing, man. I'm talking about, but meanwhile, America, that so-called the home of the great, you know what I'm saying? They're going to help in every other um, nationality around the world, but in their own backyard, the brothers are starving. And I'm talking about the brothers of the nation of Israel. The, our own people are starving. You got own people in your own country that's starving, right in your very backyard, living in dirt hills like like in Africa with, with, with flies um, flying around the people's belly. You know what I'm saying? We got that in our own community and our own land, the 50 states. And nobody's feeding them. Nobody's feeding our poor. But you want to give investments to the other people. All right? So this is just food for thought, thinking while I'm driving. You know what I'm saying? And our people got to wake up, man. You know what I'm saying? And this is another episode of, of Performing Arts. You know what I'm saying? Um, Brother Shema Basar. You know what I'm saying? I hope you was edified. Shalom.